Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. We're going to take a look at solving a rational equation. Now the process for doing this is to take our rational equation and write it in a much nicer form. This means we need to get rid of all of those fractions in there. So in order to do that, I'm going to first find my common denominator, the least common denominator, and multiply everything by it. This will actually wipe out all of my fractions and give me something much nicer to solve. Okay? So looking at our example here, I have 1 over 2x plus 6 minus 4 over x squared minus 9 equals 7 over x minus 3. So I first need to find my lowest common denominator. Now, in order to help me out, it's a good idea to take your denominators and see if they can be factored in any way. So looking at this first one, I see that I can take a 2 out, which means that this denominator is basically 2 times an x plus 3. x squared minus 9 is the difference of squares, so this is an x minus 3 and an x plus 3. And of course the last denominator can't be factored at all, this is just an x minus 3. Now what that tells me is that my lowest common denominator needs to have enough pieces that I could build any one of these denominators. So let's see, I need a 2 because there's a 2 in this one. Let's see, I need an x plus 3. Uh, looks like I also need an x minus 3. And looks like that's it. Okay? So this contains all the pieces of each of the denominators. And we want to take this and multiply on both sides of our equation to wipe out those fractions. So I'm going to multiply on the left side by 2 times x plus 3 times x minus 3 and I'll multiply on the right side. At first this will look a little messy but just follow along as best you can. So this needs to multiply by both of these terms. So imagine using your distributive property. So 2x plus 3 times x minus 3 times 1 will give us 2x plus 3, x minus 3, all over uh, basically 2x plus 3 in the bottom. Okay? Then all of this will multiply by the 4. So 4 times 2 x plus 3, x minus 3, all over, x plus 3, x minus 3. Boy, what a lot of work. Okay, last one. On the right side, 7 times all of this. So 7 times 2, x plus 3, x minus 3. All right. Now the good news is, even though it is kind of messy and there's lots of stuff going on in here, there will be lots of terms that actually cancel out. Let's take this one at a time. So I can see the 2's will cancel. So will my x plus 3's. Here, x plus 3 will cancel and x minus 3 will cancel. And on the last one, x minus 3 will cancel. All right. So if we look at what's left over, I have an x minus 3 minus 4 times 2, so minus 8 equals uh, 7 times 2 is a 14 times an x plus 3. Now look at that. We've taken our rational equation and turned it into just a linear equation. So now if we solve this, we're pretty much home free. All right, so let's combine things. So I have x, let's see, minus 3 and minus 8, that'll be a minus 11 equals 14x plus, looks like a 42. All right, let's get our x's on the same side, see what happens. So I'm going to get a negative 11 equals 13x plus 42. And let's go ahead and subtract 42 from both sides. So a negative 53 equals 13x. All right, last step, divide by 13. And there we go. 
So our solution out of all this is that x is equal to a negative 53 all over 13. Now keep in mind, when working with rational equations, we have to be careful with these solutions we find. As long as they do not make the denominator zero, we can keep them. If they do make the denominator zero, then we have to throw those out. Well, fortunately, negative 53 divided by 13 does not make any of the denominators zero. The reason why I know this is if you look at the denom denominators, looks like a negative 3 would make them zero, or just a 3 would make them zero. And since this is not a negative 3, and it's not a 3, I'm okay. So this is our solution. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.